This hand would have been sweet if one of these chariots was a two or three drop, uh, especially on the play. But on the play with like nothing going on until turn four, I feel like in this meta, this could easily be, easily be a Boros deck and we get rocks. So we're going to ship it. Okay, better, better. Um, Double chariot. We have like our combo, right? Actually, all three of these. All. Hmm. This can guarantee we play something. We're going to keep this for sure. I'm just trying to think if we double chariot or not, right? Because they're going to have an answer for one chariot, but rarely do decks have, have an answer for two. We are we get to see two cards before we have to play Jenny Fay. All right, let's... This is the guaranteed Jenny Fay though, but this is like part of our combo. Yeah, let's keep our combo and see what happens, right? It is a risk, don't get me wrong. I will fully acknowledge that. Um, I think especially in this meta, you could just easily expect your two drops to die. That being said, right, uh, it just, I don't know. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I, I think it could have gone either way, right? I do think, especially going down a card, that we need to keep the most high power hand. All right. Jet mirror, so we have a chance here. They could have play with fire, they could have strangle, they could not. So let's find out if our gamble worked out or not, right? We just need a land. Um, then we can play Jet Mirror or Genie Fay. That's gonna give us our treasure. That's gonna turn into all right. Uh... Oh, we got a tap land. No. Oh man, that was bad. All right, attack because they're not gonna block. Alright, I, I did say, I should have clarified, I did say any land. Alright, so probably just gonna die here. So let's see, what are we looking for? Um, Alright, luckily they didn't have a follow up play, so I guess we'll take that. Alright, let's go Ginny. And then Make a treasure. It's gonna be a three one. And then we're gonna give a counter here. And then attack. Because they're most likely not gonna block. They're just gonna make that guy. Oh wow. Oh yeah, safekeeping was not on my radar at all. It was not on my radar at all. All right. So let's see here. We're going to block. We don't really have a choice. Like, honestly, if they have that in play, it's just way too much power. Um, and luckily we did end up drawing the, uh, land for our chariot. So let's go ahead and attack first. See if they block. They're probably not, but at this point, I don't know. Um, then chariot. So how do we want to do this? Chariot's just gonna get exiled, but I guess if they spend three of their mana to stop our chariot, that's probably a good thing versus playing... I guess they could, right? Huh. Go Mirror Breaker. It's just the most power efficient thing that we can do here. Play another three, go digging. This adds yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. And maybe that's wrong. It's hard to say, really. Yep. Alright. And like, maybe... Maybe it should have just been like a mirror breaker there. Right? Right? Not really sure. I think with the stuff in hand. Okay. 
Oh, I guess I see what they're doing. Yeah, because they already have a block, so we don't have a good attack. That makes sense. I can get behind that. Alright, so we're going to need our Rabble Rousing, right? Is what we're looking for here. So, I guess we just run this out there. And then hope we don't die. So, I mean, I get it. Making the dog would be like a bigger blocker. So, keep our numbers up. Them do their thing. Let's see if we die this turn or not. I mean, they could. So, really, now we're just looking for a rabble rousing and then a jet mirror, right? To kind of go over the top. That all resolves. Alright, so we're going to take uh, 13 here, fall to 5. No blocks. All right, let's see. Rousing would give us strangle just a little too late. Uh, we do want to play. I mean, where are we gonna do kill a two? Like, I guess it's something. I think we just discard these one, two, three. It's a treasure. We could play another three. So let's keep the go here all right all right that's an option that is an option ah uh, the only problem is yeah so i guess maybe we should have kept the strangle to potentially kill the visitor comboed with one of our guys right so here for sure. All right, hold on. Cancel. Play. White. One, two, three. And I think we just got to let them know the jig is up because we may have to fire up Hydra next turn. So let's play Jet Mirror. Our stuff still doesn't trade, right? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess with this it does. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. I wonder if we should have left them back to block, though. Okay. Fair enough. That was a good spot from our opponent. Uh, we'll just grab our tap land. Uh, let's see. Any good attacks here? No. We just gotta wait. We're a numbers game. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be a rebel rousing off the top now, unfortunately. Okay. I mean, we'll just use the cat to chump block, I guess, right? Let's see if they distribute their cat. Okay. Do they have another one? That is the question. They don't have another enchantment. I think we're fine. Yep. I mean, that, that we have no other way to deal with this. So, let's see. That, unfortunately, I don't think is going to do it. We need this to have haste. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're one shy, man. We ah, uh, we we needed to to make that combo or to make one more creature. Them having the Besaju there was absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So let's go here, and then fire this off for two, and then just a space because that's all we got. And then see if our opponent makes the correct blocks. <gasps> oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I wish. Is this enough? Oh my goodness. I didn't even think about I completely forgot about the token from that. I don't I don't think this is still going to be enough cuz they have a 6-6 six, six on their side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
I don't think we got there, did we? If we got there, that's gonna be freaking epic. Oh my gosh. Skilled top deck, my friends. Skilled top deck. Ugh. Yeah? Yeah? Oh my goodness, we did it! We beat Nair Runes! Yes! We got plenty of rounds! I missed, I won't lie, I missed it. I missed it, but I knew, I mean, I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it as you will. <laughs> we call it the struggle bus for a reason, my friends. Greetings, happy friends. Welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more playing Magic, so hopefully you don't have to. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're happy to have you. And uh, yeah, so if you've ever just kind of gone super wide on a board for the win, then uh, consider dropping a like, because that's what we're doing today, thanks to Jetmere Nexus of Rebels. We're playing another kind of twist on Naya, right? I mean, I think we've seen enough of these in the meta, but throwing my own twist to it using uh black market tycoon as well as gala greeters to ha to synergize with jenny Fay to potentially you know just go off and create a wide board uh you'll see a lot of variation in this deck i'm trying not to be so linear with it because as you all know i like my decks to have at least two different kinds of paths to victory in case our opponent can disrupt one and i think jumping all in on the go wide jenny Fay, uh it just kind of sets you up for failure when they have a decent amount of removal or board wipes so we're also running things like arlen pax hope and wandering emperor that can also generate tokens and creatures but are win cons in themselves as well as goldspan dragon which still synergizes with jenny Fay, being able to take that treasure token that we don't necessarily need because our curve is pretty low and turn it into a creature and rabble rousing for obvious explosive board presence but yeah the goal of the deck is to kind of go wide play a jet mirror and smash our opponent we're running uh two shelters and two safe keepings to be able to protect part of our key cards and then i did have strangles in this slot but i changed them for faithful absence because i thought maybe having the one mana removal was gonna be a little bit better to interact with our curve but in a lot of times i wanted to get rid of a bigger creature so that's why we moved, made the switch to faithful absence but that is the deck, my friends. So shout out for this video. Goes out to Thiago de Oliveria. 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 Sorry, I wanted to say Oliver, but Oliveria. So uh, Thiago, thank you so much, my friend, for uh, supporting the channel and hanging out with us. We really do appreciate you riding the struggle bus. You rock. And this Naya mid-range deck is for you, my friend. <laughs> oh my goodness in a deck with a bunch of two and threes we get our literally three jet mirrors what are the chances of that happening well we have mirror breaker and we're going first so we're gonna keep it probably pitch at least one jet mirror uh probably be willing to run out the first one i guess so let's start with our tapped land oh my goodness just can't catch a break chit against mono black aruno duress well now this hand just got absolutely horrible absolutely horrible oh my goodness this hand is so bad now <laughs> uh should we just mirror box if we mirror box how sick would that be that's interesting so oh, so they're like a discard black okay fair uh let's go here and here all right i mean we have to play something right so run out the first jet mirror point fair respect respect opponent uh, jet mirror they know about versus chariot No, let's run out the the chariot because they could discard. They could discard the the chariot, and then like depending on what they do, right? We have the option of playing out Jetmere and crewing the chariot, and or just playing out Jetmere. Period. <clears throat> that still pumps our cats, which may end up being the play 
if they end up leaving something up, right? I'm not gonna... Or Chariot's like one of the key cards in like the mono black matchup because Invoke Despair doesn't hit it. So, uh, and we have three Jet Mirrors. So if they do leave up mana, then we're just gonna go ahead and play the Jet Mirror and get him for potentially six. You know, push comes the shove, right? We have the ability to play the Jet Mirror and then the following turn, crew the Chariot and then play the other Jet Mirror. Huh? <laughs> uh, all right, opponent's in the tank. Man, that was a very aggressive duress. I'm not going to lie. Like that, they looked at her hand, saw that we only had one target and then they immediately duressed with only one unknown. It's pretty gutsy. Not going to lie. All right. Well, they... All right, that... That actually still takes away the chariot play. So let's grab our second red. And then these guys still get in there. I think that's fine. Is it all graveyards? Equal to one plus the number of types of cards in your opponent's graveyard. Okay, that's why. All right, so chances are they have a board wipe, right? Is that what's going on here? Can't imagine them just throwing away the uh, the scavenger like that, right? Okay. Ah, I see, I see, I see. All right, well, we just lose the jet mirror, right? Yeah, and there we go. We got another token generator. Sweet. All right, cool. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. We're not doing anything busted and broken here. But, I mean, once again, we're doing exactly what we said we were going to do as far as the chariot being able to dodge and win, uh, invoke the spare, which I think is huge. So, let's see. So, now they can meat hook us for four, which, I mean, there's really nothing we can do. If that is the case, though, I think we're just going to fire off the den. Blood on the snow. They're going to get back, unfortunately. Ugh. Okay. So now I'm wondering if we fire off the chariot. Goldspan dragon, I like. Still want to keep that interaction. So I'm willing to go down a land. I'm willing to go down a land because it still leaves us with a, a card in play. A creature with obviously Jet Mirror. Yeah, our opponent takes it, which... I mean, if they go to attack us, we may be in a position... That was very interesting. Oh, okay, because they had the Field of Ruin. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Alright, solid gameplay from the opponent. Solid gameplay. I mean... I would like to see our strangle here, right? That would be nice. Field of Ruin. Uh, let's just grab white, white, green, green. Let's just grab another red, I guess, for dragon. Because then this could be green, white anyways. Yeah, that seems fine to me. All right, shuffle the way to the Gala. We still get a token left. They have five mana left. Extract target point reveals their hand. You may choose a creature enchantment or planeswalker card from it. Ah, the jig is up on the old dragon, unfortunately. And they're attacking us, which is interesting. So, are they taking out the dragon? Or are they taking out the chariot, right? There would have been a pause there, wouldn't there? This is, are they planning on... Huh. So, they, so now we're cleared hot, right? Lol. Okay. So feeling a little bad about the uh, not duplicating, but I think it was a safer play here. That was a good hit. So now we have a couple options, right? So hold on, point. This is gonna take a second. So we can take out the scavenger, right? 
and then crew here and attack. Make a second one of these guys. Yeah, and we can actually target Lolf. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and target Lolf, right? Because we definitely don't want to lose our dragon. Or do we send both? Oh, maybe we should send both of them. No, I think this is... So, here and here. Or one at them. And one at Lolf. Yeah, let's go this way. Copy here. And then what we can do is we can Wandering Emperor. Oh, wow. The light is insufferable. All right, well, then... I don't... Yeah, I think we're just going to hold here then. Oh, I'm definitely glad we did, we attacked the way we attacked. Wow. Okay, cool. So Wandering Emperor is going to save us here. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no. They still got it. Oh, no, no. Because we gain life. Okay, cool. Use a creature. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. I forgot about the Emperor. So, let's see if they attack with everything. Okay, cool. We Yes. Whew. Oh, boy. That was lucky. That was lucky. Man, that was such a close one. And we got the safekeeping. So, plus here. Remember your training. Do we guarantee lethal here? Oh, we have there. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're good because we have the safekeeping. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. We have the safekeeping. It took me a second. I was like, well, but we have the safekeeping that protected. So, wow, that was that was close. Our opponent played. Yeah, smart play from our opponent. Very smart. All right, um, we're going first, which makes the absence on two a little awkward, but I think we can keep this. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off with the cave. Push comes a shove. Okay, cool. Play the jet mirror, and then now we can kind of curve out. Probably obviously, or not probably, obviously going to play the chariot before. So, oh, I love that haunted bridge. It's like one of my favorite artworks. Jeweled Thief, but man, it's kind of tempting. But I think we still Jenny Fay. Jenny Fay, obviously, they have a play with fire. So most likely still gonna chariot next turn. Alright, oh, they have the voltage surge. Is that what they're gonna do? Ooh, an arousing. Ooh. Alright, let's go fire here play here Ooh, this is not bad we're gonna make two dugs you like dugs no attack with jenny Fay. and then man uh one two three fair so they're gonna combo all right, that's, I mean, it's fine, right? We, we got some value off of it, right? I think we're still going to hold on the jet mirror. And they're digging, okay. That's, oh, wow, and they pitched a mirror breaker? Holy shnikes. Hopefully, it would be nice if we get lucky and grab the uh, uh, untapped land off the top of our deck. Okay, that is relevant. They're going to grab a way to destroy our chariot, most likely. No, they're looking for land. Wait, this is black, white. Oh, no, okay. They're straight. Okay. We did draw it. So, we can Jewel Thief. Jewel Thief, leave up absence, crew the chariot, but then they just block here. So I think we just rousing anyways. Rousing, grab the Jenny Fay, 
and then crew and then attack and then trigger trigger copy this all right not too shabby not too shabby they're gonna block so i mean either way they were gonna be able to me hook if they wanted to so if that's what they do next turn i guess the difference of making a cat was that they, if they uh science they couldn't be hooked to wipe the board versus here they still can so that probably was incentive there to to not do that now that i think about it mirror breaker are they just dead here wow i think our opponent is just dead here uh i'm not gonna bother doing the math we're just gonna do the thing if it gets us there, it gets us there. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I think it does. Trigger. Make another dog. Boom. Play the Jenny. And... Yep, they've seen enough. Nice. Greetings, happy friends. It is Jedi here again to remind you that if you're still watching the videos and uh, enjoying the content, I would really appreciate it if you consider dropping a sub. Uh, it really helps out the channel and myself, and it means a lot. So, with that being said, on to the rest of the matches. Huh. Hmm. This one's interesting. Both our lands come to play tapped. If one of them didn't, we're on the draw, though. Can we make up that tempo loss? Mm hmm. We have one of our one of fun ofs that I'd like to see how it plays out, but man, if this is an aggressive deck, we just kind of get rocked, though. I'm a mulligan. Alright, this is uh, clearly worse, but I don't want to go down a card, and we do have some filtering. So, alright, alright, there you go. It just got a little bit better. So, greeters into Mirror Breaker, I would assume. Yep. Um, I, with a bunch of threes, i rather than burn the Dry Disruption on two, right? I think that's fine. Versus, like, if we take this turn off. Yep, that's okay. We're really not that big of a Gala Greeters deck without the Jenny Fey in hand. That's really what we're looking for is Gala Greeters and the Jenny Fey. So, without that. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... Let's play our Thief. Um, that way we have a clean block here, and they, if they can't just openly attack into us. I think that's correct. And then we have the potential next turn of a Ganjo plus, uh, Browsing, if they decide to do something. Because this is kind of their, like, Deluge slash Windfall turn. So, we'll see. Yep, we will block. Nada. Okay, okay. So, hmm. We do have the safekeeping, right? Spells cost more, right? So, this would be. We also get a 1 1. Let's go ahead and go ahead while shields are down. See if we can resolve this, right? They could easily have a negate. If it is, then they got us, right? It looks like that's exactly what it is, unfortunately. Nope. Fair enough. No attacks. At least next turn we can leave a Wandering Emperor. Maybe we should have done that. Well, either way, they were going to get us. So we'll see. Yeah, the, the token there was definitely worth it. I'm trying to think. Big score, okay. <clears throat> Alright, that's not too bad. They give us a free shot on Hinata and we don't even have to attack. And we get the safekeeping. All right, that actually works out really well for us. Um, we're probably still gonna lose. Well, no, we're not actually because this term hits a uh, permanent. 
So, I mean, they are going to, they do have a live reflections, unfortunately. There's not much we can do about that. So, one card in hand that they actually care about. That doesn't make me feel good. All right, what are we going to do here? Another Mirror Breaker. Yep. All right. Let us see. They're going to copy that. Okay. Is there any incentive to keeping her alive? Like, I wish we could plus to kill the reflection, right? That's my issue. Like, we could keep her alive, but what does that do? I I, I think we're just gonna get swarmed by triple mirror breaker, unfortunately. We're gonna need something off the top. <laughs> That's helpful. But unfortunately, I don't think helpful enough right now. Right, because we're gonna play him and our opponent just has a chance to wreck our day. So let's hold here. Once again, I don't think we're really winning a race per se. And there's, there, there's honestly just a good chance we're gonna get raffle stomped by, I mean, and we pitched. No. We need that, that rousing to resolve. So what are we looking for? Gold span would help. Obviously, one of our strangles, at least. But we may kind of be stuck like Chuck. Alright, they're not doing anything. This leads me to believe that they have... Um... Emperor is good. I, like, I mean, oh, we're just going to lose to those two things. Vigilant. We can leave up the like every I want to kind of keep everything, but so we definitely keep wandering emperor to deal with one of these. Did we just pitch the safekeeping and the jet mirror? Probably. Though playing jet mirror. Sorry, opponent thinking. Jet Mirror is, I guess, one of the ways we can outrun them. So I'm actually just going to keep everything and wait. Uh, there's really no point in attacking if we want to protect the Emperor. So we're just going to pass it back. Alright, let's see if this is an Opus or not. Dragon Fire. Alright, that's worth safekeeping. that's pretty much one of the few things that are keeping us alive plus it also does give uh jet mirror or it takes advantage of the trample right i've learned much during my travels i mean the problem is they got another one coming right and maybe that's the problem but so let's say we play jet mirror and i wonder if her just minusing was going to be the right thing right just continuously my sir to make a bunch of dudes for jet mirror another hanada that's not great <laughs> that's not great in the slightest so we are probably dead we're gonna see what we draw but yeah this is going to be a toughie, my friends. This one's going to be a toughie. Our opponent kind of got to draw their best cards. So, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Targeting our creatures. They can make three dudes, so no matter what, uh, Emperor is going down, unfortunately. The good news is that... Yeah, and they get all the treasures as they want. They got one card left in hand. Well, I mean, the good news is we do get to... Yeah, I wish there was a way to save her, but there just wasn't. I definitely think saving the Jewel Thief was more important. Keep our guy around. So... I 
he's still not going to be able to attack, though Jewel Thief will be able to. Have all the treasures in the world. We're going to get rocked here. Um, now we draw the land, right? Okay, okay. Alright, let's, I guess, just play Jetmir and attack. Not my favorite thing to do, but... Um... We gotta start pressuring our opponent somehow, right? And like I said, it, it's definitely by far not my favorite thing to do here. Because we really want to be in a position where we play Jetmir to almost kill our opponent. And now the jig is up. Hopefully the last card in their hand is not a card draw. We have all the men in the world, but if we can maintain... This is not a dragon, right? No. If we can somehow maintain like some level of aggression, right? Then I think we'll be okay. We're going to sandbag this land... Because we may just end up cycling if we don't draw anything. So, we have an option, right? We can Reflection here. Or actually just another Jewel Thief. Either way, it gives us the same thing, so we might as well get the bigger unit. Hmm. So, we're going to take four here. One, two, three, four, five. Ten mana. Ten mana, double Reflections. Alright, so they got a way to kill Jetmir, it looks like. Now, the one benefit, though, is, like, if they go to kill Jetmir, we could potentially still make a copy of Jetmir if we want to get the triggers. Could also activate Hydra, like, in a, in a pinch, right? So we can make a dude swing. That's five. And depending on what they do, we can also fire up the Hydra to give us an extra body that they weren't expecting. No, 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 wait, wait. Gosh, start. why does it do that? Oh, that's so annoying that it does that. All right, uh, green, green. Oh man, I'm so upset that it does that. I guess if we're gonna do that, we might as well tackle. And so make this a two, right? I couldn't tell if they were attacking or tapping, to be honest with you. Oh, they're dealing four. Ah, fair. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. And we just got a tap land, so that was at least correct. So we attack here, they just block. Alright. Not looking great. They can make a copy. Yeah, them having the magma there was was extremely unfortunate. It would have been relevant if we had played the land. All right. I'm wondering why they didn't kill the Jetmir, though. I guess they were trying to get an additional two for one, which is quite relevant. Still have all the mana. They have three cards now, so I'm pretty sure we're dead. But you never know. With Jetmir on the board, right, all what this takes is, is to draw a... Uh, Rabble rousing off the top, and then we could swing in for potentially lethal. So. Oh, they have to do is activate, make a copy, and block, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best. Our opponent's playing very well. But, you know, you never know. Maybe we can land some. some. Do. While our opponent's in the tank trying to figure out how bad they want to smash us. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess for the sake of, of entertainment value, right? We should probably just concede while they're trying to figure out how they're going to beat us. Having the Magma Opus there was unfortunate. Um, trying to think what we can draw. Because the problem is it takes four to... Oh, they have another one. All right, cool. They got it. All right, fair enough. <laughs> we got rocked. All right, friends. This is a pretty controlly hand, but we do have two, three in it, and we had some interaction. So, yeah, I think this is fine. 
go garden that way um if we need to we'll throw off our mana a little bit all right red green so i think we have a chance uh let's grab green and play our gala so most likely because we have dragon go go ahead and grab a treasure with greeters i think is correct Let's go ahead and fire that off. Fair enough. Fair enough, opponent. Oh boy. This could be an issue, my friends. We will see. Alright, the opponent has our number, apparently. <laughs> Ew. Um, I guess the way they've been destroying our mana, we probably should have played the pathway first. That way we still can keep up double everything. We still can technically play our dragon next turn, but I don't think that's going to be correct. I'm probably going to pitch both these strangles, it looks like. If I had to take a stab at it, I feel like this is a, um, a bombardment deck. So let's just try to get our opponent dead as quickly as possible here. Um, Let's go... Let's just play the tap land here. We could mirror again, but I kind of like playing Jeweled Thief here. And then attacking. And I guess we could have made an argument to leave up a Wandering Emperor as well, right? But we're going to get more bang for our buck once Dragon's down. Alright, take out that. Yep, go grab our red. Which is exactly why I said we should have probably played it uh, the other way. That's okay. Yeah, it feels like red-green bombardment, but I could be wrong. Alright, they finally got us. We're out of basics. We're out of basics, opponent. You got us. Uh, let's just go double red. And smash. Now, once again, it wouldn't even be surprised if this ends up... So, yeah, actually, slightly... Slightly, um... Yeah, that actually is a little fortunate about the glacier. Maybe we should have left it up because this feels like a burn down the house. We do have the four. All right. It, oh, it's a gold span. Okay, cool. Cool. Excellent. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. Now, of course, the problem with this is, is that we are giving him um, potential mana to take out Emperor, right? But I think if not, I mean, they have access to three mana here. Two mana. Yeah, we got there. Sweet. I'll take it. Well, my friends, that is the deck. And... Yeah, oh man, I, it's probably just a two, unfortunately, a two out of five. It just, there's too much removal right now in the meta. And the fact that this kind of deck really synergizes on having a board presence. Yes, you can, especially with Rabble Rousing, establish that board presence fairly quickly. But, I mean, you saw there were some games where we really weren't able to establish a big board and with something like just landing a Seekers Chariot or a Goldspan Dragon to kind of get us there. So, yeah, unfortunately, I, I do think this deck is kind of closer to a two. Um, we did win, you know, a game or two off of the combo as far as Gala Greeters and Jenny Faye or Jenny Faye and Chariot. Uh, but really, those were still on the back of Jet Mirror, right? And so I think you can play just about any kind of Naya deck. And just have Jet Mirror in there as a two of as kind of a finisher, I think would be something. And maybe that is something I'm going to play with. Uh, try a more controly kind of uh, deck. Um, but then I guess why would you even run Jet Mirror? So I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. I just I do feel like there's a lot of removal where it's hard for our two drops or even our three drops to kind of stay on the board, and we need that kind of momentum. So um, yeah, that's the deck, guys. I really appreciate you guys struggling on the bus with me today. 
I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. You guys rock, and thank you so much for supporting the channel and subbing. It really does mean a lot. Um, so that'll do it, guys. So until next time, as always, happy gaming.